let's run SAS Pro directly from the source. Welcome to SETI Astro. So this will be a little bit different. So you can get SETI Astro Suite Pro up and running via the source code from GitHub. That way, every time a new release comes out, you're not downloading another 500 megabyte file. You're gonna do a quick pull. It's gonna be a couple hundred kilobytes and you're gonna have the latest version. And then you'll be running it like me. I don't, I don't run the compiled version. I, I run it directly from the source here on my computer, which may be obvious since I'm, I'm, I'm writing it, but uh, it opens faster. And again, you're just not downloading big 500 megabyte files every time there's there's an update it'll be very fast and simple and once you have it set up uh, you'll be off and running and getting the latest version by default this is going to be a windows centered discussion today there is a complete guide on my wiki how to do it on mac os uh, written by binary astro tim big thanks to him for you linux users out there this is kind of old hat pulling a GitHub repository and, and running it from the source. So <laughs> if you got Linux, you, you knew what you're getting into when you got that OS. So I'm, I'm pretty sure you guys are able to do this, but this is gonna be, uh, again, Windows, Windows-centric today. And let's get everybody up and running and running directly from the source code. So head over to SETIAstro.com under Astro Program, SETI Astro Suite Pro, like you normally would. Uh, this is where you know, you could download the latest releases and everything. I also have a link on this page for the Discord. I do have a link on the, the homepage, but people have been missing it. So you, if you want to join Discord, hop over directly from there. Big community, lots of Q&A always happening. Great discussions. Uh, but for this, let's just go click download here releases. It's going to take us to the GitHub releases page. And at the top, uh, you're going to see other things too. There's a wiki, which is all about SETI Astro Suite Pro. It's uh, not fully finished yet, but it has a bunch of stuff here. Importantly, it has the build Mac OS. So here's the instructions if you have a Mac. They're very similar to the Windows ones we're gonna go over today, but here's your step-by-step -step build if you're a Mac user. Here's the steps we're gonna be following today on the Windows build, uh, getting through and getting it up and running locally on your machine directly from GitHub. There are some prerequisites. I recommend Python 3.12. It works with all the Torch stuff. It's nice and stable. If you have 3.13 or 3.14, feel free to use them. You may have to do some other tinkering later with, with uh, PyTorch, but the other requirement is having Git. Uh, and the easiest way to check that is just opening a command prompt and typing in Git and the version. It should give you some version. That's that's how you know you have that. So after you've installed Python 3.12, and there's there's a whole page here where you can go get any of the 3.12s. Just uh, scroll down a little ways and you'll, you'll see them here. You've checked that you have Git. You're gonna have to choose a good folder. Um, you could do you could just do a blank folder on your desktop. You can call it like SETI Astro Suite or something. Uh, you could put one in users under your name, maybe a folder called code. What you want to avoid is trying to put it in any write protected folder like program files is a big no-no that's uh that's a windows write restricted folder you can go ahead and use these commands in powershell if you want uh, to create a directory there or you can uh, right click and make a new folder right that's 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 valid too but let's let's step through these steps and just uh let's go through the whole process so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, just just go right in, make directory. All right, it, it made the directory. And you could always verify that, you could just look. And here's the, here's the folder we just created. And we want to change our directory to the one we just made. Now we're in that folder. The next thing to do is uh, clone the GitHub repository. So we're just gonna wanna copy and paste this thing uh, straight in there. And it's done. Now we're going to want to uh, change the directory again and we can, we can check this out, what it's doing behind the scenes. If we go into code, now there's a whole new folder here 
with all the files from GitHub to run Steady Astro Suite. So let's go ahead and go into that folder. Now we're going to want to create a virtual environment. Uh, that way, all the stuff you install stays with SETI Astro Suite Pro and it doesn't affect any other installations you may have in Python. Uh, this is a very common practice in Python to create a virtual environment uh, that keeps everything together versus using versus installing stuff globally on your system. So let's go ahead and just do it. Python make the virtual environment. We're calling it the virtual environment. And this may take it a minute or two to create it. But when it's done, if you go back to that folder we've been looking at now, there's another folder here, .venv. That's our virtual environment folder. That's all the, the files that's created in there. And we want to activate it now. And now you can see this little green uh, venv over here. That means we're in the virtual environment. You could also just type in deactivate to turn it off if you ever want to turn it off. And uh, we can turn it right back on. Just uh, sa same kind of code. Uh, you can do it either way, but we're back in the virtual environment. The next thing we need to do is install all the libraries that Astro Suite needs to run. So this is step five. The first thing we'll do is this uh, update pip command. This just makes sure we have the, the latest one up and running. And then the next command is pip install the requirements.txt. So if you go back to the folder of all the stuff you downloaded from GitHub, there's actually a requirements.txt that you could, you could look at if you want. And this is all the different libraries we're end up going to install here. And if you've never done this kind of stuff, it's okay. Let's take our time. Let's get through all the steps because once you're done, you'll never have to download a new update again. It'll be so easy and so simple to run SETI Astro Suite natively on your computer. It opens a lot faster. You'll always have the most up-to-date files. It is by far the preferred way to, to go about this. It just may be a little scary if you've never done something like this first, so we're just taking it step by step and letting it run. And when it's done, you're actually ready to just run SETI Astro Suite now. In SETI Astro Suite, that you download it, there is a SETI Astro Suite Pro.py. This is the actual launch point of SETI Astro Suite Pro. And we're just going to type in then Python SETI Astro Suite Pro.py. And there we go. We got uh, SETI Astro Suite Pro up and running natively off the uh, source code. So you, you didn't have to download those big installer or that big file or anything. And you could be up and running with SETI Astro Suite right now. But let's uh, continue setting this up such that you can pull the latest versions and how to get back into it. There is a little helpful troubleshooting run if you're having problems with SETI Astro Suite Pro. Sometimes it's good to run it with this um, dash x dev dash x fault handler. There'll be more tracebacks in the terminal if you run it like that, uh, in case you run into issues. All right, so here, here's a, a typical workflow then. We've already done all these steps. The cloning the repository, changing the directory, making the virtual environment, all that. Later now, let's just close this. Wherever you have your folder that you save SETI S Suite Pro to, if you right click in any of that space, you can click open in terminal and it's going to open our terminal for us right there. We have to turn on our virtual environment. You'll have that little green thing there. And then just run SETI Astro Suite Pro. SETI Astro Suite Pro. And we're up and running. So let's let's continue though, because we want we want to set it up so you can quickly pull the latest version and, and be up and running. So to do that from within here, you're just gonna go git fetch origin. 
in this case, we're, we're up to date. We, we just did it. Git switch main. And then git pull ff only. And it says we're already up to date. That's fine. But we want to make it a little simpler for you. But let's, let's make an updater for you. So you don't have to go through these manual git fetch switch main pull things. We could do that all automatically. So what we want to do is open notepad. You want a, a blank notepad thing and copy this text here from the one click updater right into notepad. And then we're going to go save as and we're going to want to save this file into City as Suite Pro. We want to go all files and give it the name update sasspro.cmd and then save it. Now in our folder, you can see this new file is here, update sasspro.command. Anytime you want to get the latest version, so you open City as Suite Pro and it says, hey, there's a new version available. You could just double click this and it's done. You can see the, the we're already updated to the latest branch. And it would have all the new files in there for you to just run City as Suite Pro. So you may want to put a shortcut to this folder like on your desktop so you can quickly go in there. You may want to even just make a shortcut right to this update sasspro.command just so it's easier to get to. I just pushed a little update to Seti S Suite Pro, little couple little bug fixes. So let's use our update SAS Pro command here to pull the latest files down. And there. So it, it pulled the latest files down. You can see which files were actually changed. And now when we go in, let's just go ahead and now we can run Seti S Suite Pro again. Oh, if you use the up and down arrows here, you can quickly just cycle through all the things you've actually typed in. So it's really easy to, I'll show you here. We'll just open in terminal. And then if I just press up, it remembers the stuff I already had. So it's really quick to just create the virtual, to activate the virtual environment. And I'm going to press up again two more or two times and then just run Seti S Suite Pro. And now this is actually the updated version that I just pushed to GitHub. I didn't even make a new version number for it or anything. It's not compiled out there yet, but the code has been updated in GitHub. So this is the, the latest and greatest uh, that could possibly be ran for City S Suite Pro. It has a couple bug fixes for view bundle and debayering with the view bundle. And then uh, there was an erroneous error after the view bundle was done getting ran that it would say it, there was no more, <coughs> that it couldn't, that there was no views available because it had already ran through them all. So that bug's fixed now. And if you're running it from the source, you will have the updated version without that bug. And all the people that are only running it from the compiled version are going to have to wait for the next version release to actually get that updated version. But we're not done yet. One more nicety for those of you guys that don't like opening a terminal and typing in all that stuff. We could do this same, the same command prompt, the same command file trick that we did for fetching the latest version to just run study as a suite pro with a double click. So let's go ahead and copy this and open notepad back up. We want to copy all that stuff into notepad. We want to go file, save as. Make sure you're in this SDS Suite Pro folder. We want to save all files and we're going to type in run sasspro.cmd. And now you'll see in our folder, we have a little, so next you'll see a little run sasspro.cmd. We could double click that and SAS Pro is starting right on up. And now we have a double clickable 
SETI Extra Suite Pro that runs straight from the, the native source code. So what you may want to do then is just make uh, two shortcuts on your desktop, one for update SAS Pro and one for run SAS Pro. Anytime you see a new version pop up or anytime you just want to check, just double click that and you'll be good to go. And then go ahead and double click run SAS Pro. And it's going to run the latest and greatest for you every single time without having to download again those 500 megabyte files. Well worth the effort to do this. Please hop on my Discord if you have any problems with it. There's a lot of smart people over there. A lot of people that have gone this route to set it up. And again, it's just going to make life a, a lot easier to run it uh, directly on your system versus waiting for a big compiled file from me. Uh, you could just run it yourself. Please comment, like, and subscribe.